Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August 29th of 2022. Well, it is titled the Horsehead Nebula region without stars. So what do we see here? Well, this is part of the Orion star forming region, and in particular, the part around the Horsehead Nebula. And you see that roughly centered on the uh, screen there. And that is uh, the what we call the Horsehead Nebula, an example of a dark nebula. And it is really a, it's a dark condensation, extra dust that blocks out the light from behind it. The shaping, of course, may remind you vaguely of a horse head or the knight from a pe from a set of chess pieces. And that, of course, is just a coincidence. It's just how things happen to be shaped out. And our minds try to put some kind of order into the randomness of patterns in the sky. Now, we also see within this nebula that something is missing, and that would be the stars. We see no stars in this region. And that is with one exception, and that's at one a little bit above and to the left of the Horsehead Nebula. The other stars have all been digitally removed to allow focus on the dust. So it allows for less distractions as you look at the image. Instead of seeing all the stars which would be present here, we see the Horsehead Nebula, all the different types of nebulae, and the one single star, which is Alnitak. And that is an example of a star, one of the stars that is within the belt of Orion. So when you identify Orion in the sky, you see that there are three stars in the belt. And this is one of those three stars here, the others of which are off, they would be off the image. So we can see that one and we can see the Horsehead Nebula, but we see that this region is also filled with other bits of gas and dust, including the Flame Nebula right below on the tack. And we can see that down there kind of looking like a flame. But again, another type of nebula present around here. And within any star forming region like this, we see a lot of gas and a lot of dust. Those are the materials from which stars build. And then as the stars start to form, they begin to illuminate that gas and dust and make it visible to us. So we can start seeing some of that in a very early stage of star formation. We would not see the gas and dust. It would all be dark nebula with nothing to silhouette it against. And it would essentially be invisible to us. And then once stars start to form, the first massive stars, they begin to illuminate that and they do so by forming things called emission nebulae, where the ultraviolet radiation from the star will rip electrons off of atoms, which will then recombine giving off a distinct glow of gas. And we see that scattered around this entire region. We can also have things like reflection nebulae, which occur when light from the stars reflects off dust around it. And we can have dark nebulae, such as the Horsehead Nebula, where we have dark dustier areas which are blocking out the light from behind us. Regions where the dust is a little bit denser and in fact dense enough to be opaque and not allow us to see through it. So here today we get to see the Horsehead Nebula region uh, with the stars having been digitally removed to allow us to better focus on all of the nebulae in the area. So that was our picture of the day for August 29th of 2022. It was titled the Horsehead Nebula region without stars. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Jupiter revealed. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.